What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Maincroft here and today guys another video of myself this time showing the face because I believe that somehow might be a bit more easier when you are watching the other side someone talking, not just seeing the screen um, just on the record and that's the reason why I decided to do a second video how can you install your controller uh, on your computer for you to be able to play Minecraft Java Edition um, because as well I got some messages uh, recently that some people were having some issues to install even explaining and telling them to follow all the step by step they were still not able so guys be sure that you follow every single step Otherwise, what can happen is that you are not going to be able to play Minecraft Java Edition using your controller. I have it here with me, the controller, the PlayStation controller. So the first thing before starting all these steps is be sure that the controller is connected with the wire. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So be sure that it's connected. You can see that it's on. It's here, the light on. Uh, once it's connected, the thing that you need to do is opening Steam. You can see here that is Minecraft and you could launch the game over that icon. But the thing is that if you are opening the, uh, the, that icon, it's going to open the game, but it's not going to work with the controller because the developers didn't release the patch that you are able to actually play the game using the controller on the Man Minecraft Java Edition. That's why you need to use a mod or you need to use the steam on mac is not uh, far as i know is no mods for the controller that's why you need to follow all the steam for the computer it's f4 for the pc windows is a mod that um, allows you to play minecraft with the controller so go to steam open steam and you can see voila it opens the box you can see on the top just here just there that the controller is already connected and the reason why is because I was already playing. Once it's open over here, the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to add the game as a non-Steam game because Minecraft is a non-Steam game. And to, for you to be able to do that on this box, you go to add a non-game, a uh, non-Steam game. And you need to only browse here where the game is installed. I have it already installed, so I'm not going to do all this process again, but basically you just need to browse uh, the icon, well, the, the launching icon that you will be able to add into the non-Steam game. And after you just need to add, uh, press OK, and that it goes to the library. Once it's already on the library, don't use this play button. Go first to the big picture mode, that is one here, this here. And it will pop the intro of the Steam. On the Steam, you can see that here the library, the communi uh, community store. Uh, go first to settings. On the settings, go to controller settings. And you can see that here is already ticked that is PlayStation configuration support uh, because it's the one that I'm using. I I don't think so that it's necessary for you to take, but somehow I always prefer to actually follow all these steps just in case that, you know, that can be some error and that will not be able. So if you actually follow all these steps, at least I know that it's going to work. If you have an Xbox configuration, if you have an Xbox controller, just push this one here. If it's the switch port configuration, you just have all here and you just click generic or whatever. And my case, you can see the detected controller that is PlayStation 4 controller. When you click identify, gives a small vibration on the controller. It means that the controller is fine. Go back and here, just back. Now go to library and go to games. My game, my, I was playing recently the, the game, so it's over here. But if it's the first time that you are playing, just go to Minecraft. And before you start playing, the most important is you need to go minor shortcut, controller configuration. And on the controller configuration is where you are putting all the keys for your controller, because otherwise it's going to be blank. And of course, if you start the game, you are not going to be able 
the, the, the controller is not going to work. The controller not going to work. So be sure that you start before of configuring your Minecraft settings. Uh, I have it already here. Um, this one is config. And I was looking for this guy here, the Kid Flash B03. Somehow for me is the, the best because I was playing on the PlayStation 4, uh, the Minecraft. And somehow they are very similar, the keys. And that's why I choose that one. Otherwise, um, you need to just do it manually. Uh, and for that, you just need to click each section. And you can see that X, that is one, this one here is the space because the space on the keyboard is for you to jump uh, and all of course the E for the inventory um, so you just need to put all the keys that you use on the keyboard otherwise as I said is not going to work so follow all that if you are pu putting it manually otherwise if you would like to search because usually the Steam recognize that you are playing Minecraft and that you have or in my case the PlayStation controller on and is going to look for the configs for that particular controller and for that that game because if I'm going to browse configs it will show uh, here uh, Minecraft for DualShock 4, Gamepad and this is like some users that they already set up their own um, con settings for the controller and you just need to push to click and to add into um, your configs and that's it, it was what I have done. Once you have done that, the only thing that you need to do is go, oh, I just went back to, for, uh, to backward, uh, just push play and goes to the desktop again. And you can see that launch the game on its own. And the reason why is because Steam is going to grab at the, the, the game itself, like the launching, like launching, um, oh. Ooh, it will launch the game. Sorry, guys, but I had a blank on my brain. Um, that is what happens sometimes when your native native language is not English because I'm Portuguese. Um, but yeah, sometimes can happen. Can happen anyway. But we are not perfect humans. They are not perfect. So soon as it pops in, uh, it means that it was Steam that brought the the software that brought the game to pop. Uh, for you to be able to play because if you are clicking here as I said on the beginning that is going to start the game from the Folder the root like from Minecraft root, but not from Steam because Steam is the one that is going to allow you to play the game with the controller So that's why now it pops Once you see that screen just click play because it goes back to the Steam and Now you can see all that just going back to the game on the bottom. You can see that is already connected to the controller config loaded it means that everything is fine and here i'm using now the joystick so all is working perfectly so let's go for the multiplayer and i'm just going to show you my world quickly because i i'm starting a, a server on this channel Soon I'm going to start inviting some people to play with me on this server. I have been playing on Mixer with some uh, other guys. Uh, we all have a community and I have been using the server of two guys that I met there that they are awesome. Um, so, but I decided that I would like to get my own server, even if I'm going to be playing as well there with them, but to build um, one community on my server to be able for me to invite people uh, to play with me. This is my world. I just started. Uh, this it was all sand. So I'm just doing the base. Uh, before I came here, I was just exploring to get some resources. That's why I have already quite a lot of resources. Because on the way, it was like some places that I was finding that stuff. I was probably getting some, some of the stuff from the chests from these guys here. That is the villagers. Um, but I, des I decided actually to land here and to build my own community. Well, my house over here. And the reason why is because I have a lot of resources around. Because I can see it's coal, it's iron. Inside that, that cave, it's a lot of redstone. Uh, and as well, some um, I could see like really on the bottom that is as well some... Um, uh, 
some some diamonds yes some diamonds and guys i'm using the controller all works fine by the way i'm using shaders if you probably are questioning what what is that what kind of graphics are that this is shaders uh, it's really good this is a plugin that you basically install into your minecraft and you will be able to have all these magnific graphics they look much better so i done a video before as well to show you the comparison of the normal minecraft and as well the one with uh, shaders yeah so guys this is my world that I'm starting really soon. If you would like to be part, of course, of um, this community, just drop me a message on. If you open my YouTube channel on the top right, you will have the Discord and you can actually text me over there um, and just that you would like to join the community. Uh, first, I would like to know you better. Um, before I invite you for you to actually start because this is kind of like what my, my friends as well are doing on the other server they started and um, that I'm part of it and of course it's fair enough that you that I would like to know you first before I invite you because this it will be a place that you can build your your house and of course that you don't want the house to be destroyed of course, I wouldn't like that someone would come here and would destroy my house. Everything what I will be building, it will be destroyed. Of course, that it would be not fair at all. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. I need to get some water now because I have my mouth dry. Thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe this channel and you would like to be part of this journey, my gaming journey, where the gaming comes alive, push the button below and as well push the bell for notifications because usually I upload every week. I know that it was kind of a hole between these last two weeks, but it's because I have been streaming on Mixer. That's why. I have my Mixer as well on the on the description below. If you'd like to pop in there and follow me there, it would be awesome, guys. And see you in the next video. If you have any questions about this, um, how can you actually add the controller? Just let me know. Um, and drop me a message on a discord as well or even just leave a comment uh, on this video guys thank you so much and see you in the next video see ya.